if you treat your work as worship, you will learn and be happy. I would like to start talking to you about the digital era and how it is changing the way we train our, our children. To give you a simple example, when I was watching my daughter she was, when she was 16, uh, I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm on, I'm doing my homework. So I said, but you're on Facebook um, and you have this phone. She says, yeah, but I am collaborating on a project and I'm chatting with six people and I have a FaceTime session open and I'm listening to music. So this is the way they expect to learn. They are very peer oriented. They are collaborative by nature and their expectation of the hierarchical way of teaching is not going to be workable anymore. So they want, instead of a teacher being a sage on a stage, they want them to be a guide on the side. They want them to uh, assist them in their discovery. We've talked a lot about how technology is changing companies or how they are go it's going to change companies, but is there something that we as companies should maintain? As I see it, what, what changes is the way we go to market, the way we connect with customers, the way we do production, the way we manage our supply chain, the way we organize internally, you know, the way we can now do outsourcing and offshore production. So I think the ways of working are changing, but here's what doesn't, should not change the purpose of a business, you know, the, the fundamentals of why. How and what we do may change, but why we exist doesn't change. A corporation at the end of the day exists to create value for customers. And in that process, it should not destroy the environment. How would you define happiness or what is happiness to you? Professionally, Happiness is if you are able to find an intersection between four things. What you love to do, what you are good at doing, what you get, get paid well to do, and what, what makes a difference in the world. So if you can find that intersection of passion and ability and economics, you are in a very happy place. Uh, so, so my advice always to people is that you know you find your passion and then go for it.